good morning and it is quarter past six in the morning and I do have a face a bit like a photo tripper on a good day and I'm up because I think there's a reason why I should be up. It's my first sunrise probably since March and it's now coming close to the end of September and the main reason for that is here in Ireland sunrises are absolutely horrendous to get up for. You got to get up in the middle of the night really to get to any location so now that we're kind of coming back into a bit more normal time I had decided that I wanted to get up this morning to come out for sunrise. Now I set my alarm and when I set my alarm I actually set my alarm on my weekday alarm and because it's Sunday it was never going to go off but something woke me up more or less around the time of my alarm was supposed to go off as well so it was fate and I decided you know what yeah I'm awake now let's get up let's get out and let's just see exactly what I can get for a sunrise this morning. Conditions, they aren't exactly ideal either for landscape photography. We had a lot of rain yesterday and cloudy overnight and the forecast said that it was going to clear for the morning. And guess what? It has cleared. So there's not a cloud in the sky, um, but I'm still hopeful that I'll be able to get a couple of nice shots anyway. And it's even better to be up and get up and get out and see how we get on. So yeah, join me for today's adventure for sunrise. The first time in a long time. So you must be wondering, Darren, what are you doing, man? There's no cloud in the sky. Yeah, there's not much possibility of getting some nice conditions. It's going to be you know, quite bland. So what are you doing getting up early in the morning and getting out, getting these shots? What could you possibly be hoping to get? Good question. Well, what I actually was hoping for was that the water here in Fota would be completely flat. And it's not flat, unfortunately, but there are small little bits of pockets of calmness within the water. What I was also hoping for is that I get a bit of mist. Now, Mist is not here right now, but it might come when the sun rises. Because like I said in the outset, all that rain that we had yesterday means that there's a lot of moisture in the air. And when the sun rises then, hopefully it catches that and we get a small bit of moisture that lifts on the water. That would be the ideal situation, but we'll see how that will go. What I'm doing at the moment actually is I have my camera behind me here. It's actually right down in the ground because I want to be able to get a bit of that reflection that you can see behind me with the uh, photo castle on the distance. There's nothing really, you know, great shakes in relation to this image, but with the camera down low, it actually hopefully will help me be able to bring more out of that scene instead of it just being a standard snapshot of nothing. Now, it's also difficult to expose because the sun isn't evened up yet. So it's going to be dark, you know, when the sun does rise as well, it's going to rise over here and again on that side of that. So I might get a small bit of side light. I might even move myself around that I can get the sun rising directly behind the castle as well. We'll see. I have the flexibility to be able to go up along the, uh, the shoreline here as well and be able to capture that shot, hopefully. So yeah, that's my plan anyway for today. I'll show you the first shot that I've taken down low here. Like I say, not going to be any major great shakes, but at least it gets me to uh, an opportunity to practice my composition. And then as the sun will come up and the sky hopefully will change, we'll see what type of shot we get then. Quarter past seven right now, so that means that the sun is just about to rise. So while I'm waiting for it to come up over the, the brow and give me a small bit of light, I'm going to send the drone up, send it over towards Photo Castle, and have a look and see what I can get in the morning light. So yeah, let's have a look there now from the air.
Right, the sun is up now behind me, as you can see, it's just popping over my shoulder here, and it's just to the left of Photo Castle as I'm taking the shot. As you would have seen there with the drone footage, actually, I caught the sun just as it was rising, but you know, there is nothing in the sky for any of that light to catch. Now, what I'm going to do next now is I'm going to move along the bank here, and I'm going to see now, can I frame up a shot with my main camera with the sun uh, directly, uh, well not directly, but more or less behind uh, the structure of the castle as well. Next. So, yeah, I actually managed to take a couple of photographs as well there with the drone. So I'll show you those now next and then we'll move on and we'll see what type of shots I can get this morning. <music> down along the coast here or the shore and as I was moving along I managed to be able to capture the Sun just directly behind the turret on the castle and whilst there is probably going to be nothing here I don't think in relation to great atmosphere like I said from the outset it's a clear morning what I did was I went handheld so I had my long lens and I was just zooming in and changing my composition um, as the Sun was moving which is actually quite a handy thing to do because if you're on a tripod then you know you have to adjust and adjust and readjust and with the Sun moving it allowed me to be able to be the tripod and move around as well to be able to get that shot now um, there's not going to be as you can see behind me anything I don't think in relation to mist so that plan is upward but still nonetheless good to be able to get out anyway get some shots I do think a couple of the handheld shots actually there might be nice because I got a bit of a silhouette um, of the trees with the castle and then obviously um, with the Sun going behind that and a sunburst at f16 I think I got a nice shot so I'm going to hang around here for a couple more minutes anyway see what else I can get as the Sun will come up there and move around to the other side I might get some uh, side light on the castle as well actually do you know what that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue on here. I'm going to go up and see if I can get some side light on the side of the castle. And that will probably be my last shot on this morning. So I took a walk up there and it wasn't really any great shakes. Uh, the sun actually now is too high in the sky as you can see behind me. It's uh, pretty over. Or it was over faster than it actually began to be honest with you. It was quite quick this morning. But I suppose it's quite quick every morning really. I mean, that's the thing about sunrise. You know, you never know what you're going to get. But you could always get something nice. And that was the whole purpose of what I wanted to do today. It was just... Like I said at the beginning, just get up, get out, regardless. You know, you're still going to get some top shot and you're also going to get some good practice. Plus, I'm now up early in the morning. It's now 10 to 8 in the morning. My shoot here is done. So normally I'll probably be getting up around now anyway because it's Sunday morning. But I've been up. I've been breathing in the fresh air. I've greeted the day. And it's a great feeling to be able to have because I've got the full day now ahead of me. So I'm going to finish up this episode of my vlog. Thank you very, very much, as always, for joining me. If it's your first time on the channel, please do hit the subscribe button. Give me a like. Give me a comment. And until the next time, Schlange Fall.